Well, appreciate you guys coming out. Um, we had a bad day, and we we had it against a team that's kind of finding their stride. So the result was not something you like to see. But we will we will go back to work, and um, this is a good group of young men, good coaches. And we'll figure it out. I think Ohio State played very well. I think it's always easy to say we didn't do this and we didn't do that. They did some really good things, and we we. We played about as poorly as we've played since uh, since I can remember. So, two things, that's what you get. So I'll try to answer anything I can for you. I don't know about the injuries yet, so that I won't be able to help you with. Greg, I was going to ask, this is the first time this has happened to you guys since you were back. How do you regroup? I mean, I know you're not going to tell us exactly what you say to the team, but what is your message moving forward? I think it's early still, Cratch. Um, I know what I saw today, and then I'll watch the video and see what I see off of that. Because I think before you can just say, oh, we didn't do this or we didn't do that, I have to make sure that we put them in a position to do that. I believe we did, yeah. Um, so it always starts with you know introspection, and then from there you move forward. Um, but like I said, we had a bad day, and they had a really good day. How much did those early plays impact the fake punt, them scoring? Excuse me? How much did those early plays impact the game, the momentum of it, um, you know, the fake punt and then them scoring so early? Well, I, you know, the fake punt, we felt we had an opportunity all week in studying it. Didn't go exactly the way we thought, obviously, right? But, um, you know, that's not one that I sit there and say, oh, that's the game changer. We had plenty of chances to stop them. We had plenty of chances to score, you know, there's many ways you can go down seven nothing, right? But the fake punt didn't run that, you know, all those yards untouched either. We ha we ha we have to really look at what what happened and how do you fix it. So, and I'm not dodging the question because yeah, the momentum is critical. But in a big time game, there's several momentum swings. There wasn't any today. Greg, yeah, you got ties to a couple deep shots early on, and you almost hit. I think the pass interference. I think it hit on one. Why? Any reason why you moved away from that in the second half? Was that a protection thing? I know you had some injuries up front. Uh, that's a fair question. You know, we did. We got a DPI on one, and then or a hold. I think it actually was. Yeah, we, we probably could have taken more deep shots. Uh, you know, we also got ball tipped on one you know that was a going down the field so and then we had one where it got tipped in the interception so we took a, you know a few more but I, I I don't disagree sometimes you just turn it into a three-man game one the guy throwing and the guy covering and the guy catching there's definitely merit to that I think, I think most people would think you played your two best opponents in the last two weeks I'm curious if you how do you get the message across to uh, the players that there's you know every all the goals for this team are still in front of it well, I think just what you said. I'm not really worried about the goals and all that stuff, um, Steve. We're at the stage where we're building, and we need to learn how to how to just be able to focus on what we are trying to accomplish today. You know, Wednesday practice, then Friday preparation, then being ready to play on game day, right? And that, to me, is more of the – now, certainly, I think – Having stuff out there that is goals is, is definitely motivation, but if that's where you know that's not where I'm going, we're we're gonna we're gonna go find out where we didn't do what we're capable of doing, why we didn't, and where we were maybe not able to. Then we got to figure out is there a better way to do it. Um, we're gonna look deeply, and then we're gonna get ready. I don't even know, like I don't have any idea about what happened in college football today. Did Michigan State win? Oh, they play tonight. So, see, I really don't know. Spoke earlier in the week about how the Big Ten, you know, any team could beat any team on any, any Saturday. I mean, is that kind of like the blessing and the curse of this league is that now you have a great opportunity next week, but also it's going to be another tough opponent every single week? Well, I think everybody understands that's life in the Big Ten, right? Every week is a, is a tremendous challenge. 
Uh, that's why I liken it to the National Football League, right? It's every week. You got to you got to strap it up and you got to find a way. Um, but now we've lost back-to-back ball games, so we need to we need to stop that. Kind of along that line, Greg. I mean, you play your third straight ranked opponent next week. Two tough games. Do you have to kind of monitor these guys in terms of confidence and, and keep them kind of pumped up? I don't. I, you know, I don't think so. I think that they've shown in the short time we've been together that they can step up and play with just about anybody. But we haven't done it over four quarters against the best teams we've played, and that's that's really our challenge. Today we didn't do it for eight quarters, so I can't I can't say like I told you. I just today I have to I have to look at it. I have to figure it out as a head coach. Then I have to ask my staff to figure it out, and then we got to move on because you know if you think you're going to fix everything that happened out there, there's some stuff that happened out there that we're just going to have to flush it and move forward. The first team that you've played, I think, this year who's been able to do it both on the ground and through the air. Was that a part of the problem in that a lot of opponents you faced have been more one dimensional? No, I don't think I don't think that. I think the guys that were doing it, right? Like early in the year, number thirty two, he was getting touches, so was everybody else. Well, you know what? When you when I say you're finding your stride, they figured out this is our guy. He's pretty darn good. They have those wideouts. Well, they know they're really good. And, you know, we were a couple inches from a few plays, but it doesn't matter. And when they get the ball in the hand, they're not only very good receivers, they're extremely talented ball carriers that are very fast. So some plays that turned into catches and runs, you know, you can't can't allow that. Now, some of them we had chances to tackle and we just didn't do it. So we got to examine why. And uh, that's what I mean when I talk about execution versus schematics. we got to look at everything. The atmosphere here today. I was really pleased, and I, that's why I feel equally um, disappointed because we had a great turnout. Our students were unbelievable. Our fans were, you know, even as even as poorly as the game started, our fans stayed in it. And um, I just asked them to hang in there. We're we're going to get there, and it's going to be a, a an electric place to come to a game. It's just uh, we didn't do it today. Greg, I have to ask you about Bo Melton because we saw him go out and he was in street clothes. If he was to be out long term, how concerned would you be about the death behind him? Oh, I haven't even gone there, Keith. You know, I'm I'm praying that he's not going to be out long term. But um, those are those are dis- discussions and decisions for down the road a little bit. Right now, I got to get get my act together and get something to eat and get to work. We got a lot of work to do.